Hello world! In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how an LLM works using the OpenAI SDK top log props parameter. I'll show you an example in both Python and Node.js. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Let's get to the point. I see many times beginner developers expecting impossible outputs from an LLM. The issue of not getting a desired output usually originates from not understanding how an LLM works. An LLM is trained on massive amounts of text data to learn connections between words. After an LLM is finished training and available publicly, it uses the knowledge gained in the training process to give an answer to a question. More precisely speaking, using the knowledge gained in the training process, an LLM is trying to figure out what tokens could be placed as the next token in a sequence of tokens, using prior tokens to guide its choices. OpenAI SDK has an interesting parameter called top log probs. Using it, we can see exactly which tokens the LLM considered at each step of generating a response and how confident it was about each option. Now let's look at the code. On the left, we have the Python example. On the right, we have the Node.js example. In both cases, we have imports at the top. Then we initialize the OpenAI client with the API key. Inside the main function, we make a simple chat completions API request. We'll use the GPT-40 mini model. For the user message, we'll send just one word Einstein. Moving on, we set the log probs parameter to true. This is necessary for the top log probs parameter to work. We set the top log probs parameter to five meaning that at each step we'll get the top five most likely tokens the LLM considered and the likelihood of each. Next, we set the stop parameter to a line break, meaning that the API will stop generating further tokens when it generates the first line break. Then we extract log probs and display them. We run the main function at the bottom. Okay, let's run the code. Let's scroll up. Remember, for the user message, we sent just one word Einstein. Here we can see token by token the top five most likely tokens the LLM considered and the log probability of each. For the first token, the LLM predicted Albert with log probability very close to zero, meaning it was very confident about this choice. All other tokens the LLM considered as the first token had the log probability further from zero more negative, telling the LLM that it's less likely that the token is a good choice. The more negative the log probability, the less likely it is that the token is a good choice. One more thing, you might ask why log probabilities are zero or negative, never positive. Probabilities are always between zero and one inclusive. So if a probability is one, the log probability is zero. If a probability is less than one, the log probability is negative. For the second token, taking into account all current tokens in the sequence of tokens, the LLM predicted Einstein with the log probability of zero, meaning it was 100% confident about this choice. I want to repeat that for every subsequent token in the sequence of tokens, the LLM takes into account all current tokens. So what could follow the word Albert? Using the knowledge gained in the training process, the LLM learned that the word Albert is usually followed by the word Einstein. This is how the LLM was 100% confident about this choice. All other tokens the LLM considered as the second token had the log probability further from zero telling the LLM that it is less likely that the token is a good choice. This process continues until the response is completed. Second, the Node.js example. Here you go. The logic is the same. Done. Impressive, right? That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.